The local 10 news tonight, another million dollar heist in Weston. A family saw our story earlier this week about a similar crime and called to say it happened to them too. Local 10's Liam Wanahone is live with the exclusive. Yeah, they say they want to get their story out there because they believe there's a pattern here. I was shocked. This woman doesn't want to show her face, but says she was feeling deja vu while watching one of our recent reports. They feel unsafe. On Tuesday, we told you about a Weston family who had an entire safe, a million dollars worth of jewelry, watches, and a rack full of men's clothing stolen from their home in a gated community Sunday evening. It's our life savings. You know, we have kids. I really felt bad for the woman and the family because we had just experienced this same thing. Turns out this woman and her husband were also victims of a similar robbery, also in a gated community in Weston. Their home broken into on a Saturday evening, December 18th. It was 6.15 when we left the house. We came home around 10 and we noticed the back sliding glass door was shattered. Cameras did not capture the crooks in action, but a camera from inside an adjacent room where two dogs were kept shows something piques their interest at 7 p.m. When I went into my closet, everything was almost gone. The thieves made a beeline for the master bedroom closet, ransacking and stealing pricey jewelry, bags, watches, an entire safe, and a handgun from the bedside table. The total value upwards of $800,000. At 713, the camera shows a flashlight and the sound of an alarm. The victim says that's the sound the safe makes when it's tampered with. They left the way they came with more than they could carry, leaving a couple designer bags behind and the victims feeling violated. We really had a false sense of security living here. And they say there are no more blind spots in their house. They've installed even more cameras and motion sensors to prevent anything like this from happening again. We did reach out to the Broward Sheriff's Office to find out whether they are looking into these two break ins as related. They say the investigations into both of them are active and ongoing. If you have any information about these crimes, you are urged to call the Broward Sheriff's Office. You can also call Broward County Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. We're live in Weston. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Okay.